What's going on guys, Finesse Breezy here, back again for uh, part two of my 500 subscriber special uh, where I sit down and I answer all of your questions that you guys asked on the previous video. So I have to say you all asked some really interesting questions, uh, you know, things that uh, were a lot more in depth and, you know, thought provoking than I had expected. Uh, and I really didn't read too much into each question because I did want them to sort of be, you know, spontaneous and I didn't want to sound like I had prepared for them because I think usually you get the best answers to questions when you don't know exactly what they're going to be. So I printed all the questions out and I'm going to go off uh, one by one. Uh, I tried to put them as close to uh, the order that they were originally asked. So uh, if your question is out of place, you know, I'm sorry, but it, it should still be on here. I think I stopped at about 20 questions So if you guys ask a question after 20, I'm sorry. I, I didn't get to it uh, But I think I did get uh, you know almost all of them if not all the questions All right, so let's get the show on the road, right? So uh, the first question is from uh, awesome anime fan and he asks is dead man wonderland one of those horror anime that you do not like and did you see Funimation's news for Evangelion 3.33 if I'm allowed to ask two questions. Yes, you're allowed to ask more than one question. I know there are a few people who ask more than one question, so that's fine. Uh, is Dead Man Wonderland one of those horror anime that I don't like? Uh, no, because I don't believe Dead Man Wonderland is a horror. I think it is more of an action, um, sci-fi sort of. I wasn't scared of it, so I, that usually I associate the genre of horror with something that's scary. And I think that Dead Man Wonderland was more gruesome uh, than it was uh, scary. And to answer your second part, yes, I did see the news of uh, Evangelion 3.33 finally that we're going to be getting it in February after, I don't know what, two years uh, of them saying it's going to be coming out. I know I pre-ordered it <laughs> probably two years ago and I actually just got a, an email from Funimation saying, you know, thank you for waiting so long. They want to confirm that all my information is still the same. So I think that they are actually going to stick to it this time and send it out. So next we have uh, Cody Wall asks, what is your top favorite anime series of all time? Uh, that's really hard. Uh, you know, I, this is one of them that I probably should have prepared for because I, I, I knew it when I printed it out. Uh, off the top of my head, I can tell you uh, Yu Yu Hakusho and School Rumble are definitely uh, top two. Um, if I had to pick three more just by going off of, you know, what I see just quickly, um, I really like Ghost in the Shell. Ghost in the Shell is fantastic. Um, I like Death Note and I like Steins Gate. Uh, that's four. Let's see. You know, it, it, it is very difficult to pick um, favorite shows. I can tell you shows that I enjoyed. Um, you know, Cowboy Bebop is really good. Um, Psycho Pass was really good. You know, maybe maybe in the future I'll uh, I'll shoot a top ten anime video. I think that um, favorite anime is something that's really subjective. So I'm sure my favorite anime will not be everyone else's favorite anime. Um, but I genu generally go more for the shows that have uh, a very strong story uh, as opposed to anything else. Okay, so next we have a very detailed uh, six point question from uh, Otaku Wolfman. And he says, what's up dude, how you been? Been pretty good, uh, finally hit 500 subscribers. <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty good, right? Uh, and the first question he asks is, if you weren't part of the anime community, what would you do? Um, that's a good question, you know, it's pretty funny, you know, when you are sitting on this side making the videos, you don't necessarily feel as being a part of the anime community, but when I take a step back and, and look at it, I probably am because I, I do provide, you know, some entertainment <laughs> for, for a few people that do watch it. Um, if I wasn't part of the anime community, I probably would still want to be a part of the gaming community and I probably would focus more on Let's Plays and game reviews. His next question is, if you sold any anime Blu-ray DVD in your collection, what would they be? It's a good question. Um, I've actually have sold um, a few anime DVDs and Blu-rays in the past, uh, but generally because I want to buy a better version of it. Uh, I can't tell you how many different versions of Yu Yu Show that I've owned, and just whenever they come out with a new one, I want it, so I sell the old one. If I had to pick something to sell that I wasn't gonna get back, um, it would probably be Wandaba Style because that show was horrendous and I never see myself watching it again. Okay, question three. Do you own a PS3 slash PS4? If so, what's your PSN and what games do you have? Uh, I do have a PS4. Uh, my gamer tag slash PSN name is the name of this channel, so Finizi Breezy is my name on PSN. Uh, what games do I have? I have a few PS4 games, I have them over here. Um, Bloodborne, which is fantastic. Um, you know, Call of Duty, Shadow of Mordor, Resident Evil, Alien, Tomb Raider, 
J Star's Victory Versus, uh, and Destiny, of course, which I've put up videos about before. Uh, so mainly play Destiny, though. His next question is, are you a fan of the Persona games or anime? I haven't seen any of the show, and I have not played any of the games, so I can't make uh, an assessment yet. And his final question is, what is your favorite anime slash video game genre? Uh, for anime, my favorite anime genre is probably, um, you know, space opera, uh, sci-fi shows. I really like shows that take place in space and just, it, you know, the larger uh, atmosphere in space that they take place in, the more I enjoy it. So shows like Outlaw Star um, and Planets, and I just watched Kitty Grade, and Kitty Grade sort of has that feeling also. Uh, those are my favorite. Um, for games, I think my favorite is probably like a light action RPG. Either that or just your standard uh, 3D platformer like Super Mario World and uh, Clover. So Awesome Anime Fan asks another question and he says, when is the next Watch Us Play video? Very good question. Uh, I've been in talks with Matt, uh, you know, every week so far to try and get a, a, a time down for us to shoot another one, and I think it's coming up pretty soon, and I think we're leaning towards playing a game on the N64, uh, so if you're looking forward to the next uh, Watch Us Play, it should be out within a month or so. So next, we have Cody Wall again asks, what are some anime that you think look good, but you've never gotten around to watching them? Uh, that's a good question. Um, there's a few. I, ha I have a list of shows that eventually I plan on picking up. I know one of them is uh, Inuyasha. I've always wanted to, you know, check it out since it's an older anime and I like older anime a lot. Um, a lot of um, newer anime that are coming out that haven't been dubbed yet. Uh, I'm looking forward to checking out also. Um, but to, to say some things, I never watch any sort of online, so maybe at some point I'll check that out. Um, th th there's a whole list. I could take out the list and show you guys. So Elijah Butler asks... What made you inspired into watching and collecting anime? Uh, that's a really, you know, intricate question. Um, what inspired me to start watching it is just when I was younger, it was on TV, and, you know, I never really... Uh, I always enjoyed cartoons, and it just so happens that when you come home from school and Toonami is on and you start watching shows like Tenshu Muyo and Dragon Ball Z and all the other great shows that they had on that block, um, you know, you just really start to enjoy it. And then when anime moved to Adult Swim, and I, I watched Yu Yu Hakusho all the time, I was like, you know what, I want to buy Yu Yu Hakusho on DVD, well, at that time VHS, uh, so I did that. And then I just started to want to buy the shows that I enjoyed. So for the first year or two of me collecting anime, there was just the shows that I, I, I've watched previously and I enjoyed. And then after that, I was like, you know what, let me start picking out some other shows to, to look at. And the easiest way to watch them back then was to just buy it. So that's what I did. And slowly and slowly you wind up with this. Okay, so Aaron09 asks, I hope I'm spelling your, pronouncing your name right. I'm always interested in what people do for a living. What do you do for work? Or if you're studying, what are you studying? Uh, I'm currently an application support specialist for a large tax firm. Uh, I studied IT when I went to school. And so I guess I got a job in, in what I studied. I'm not really doing as much, uh, you know, programming or anything like that. It's mainly a support role. But uh, that's what I do, I do application support. Okay, next question from TG5455. You need a name, you should put your name at the bottom so I can call you by your name. <laughs> First question, any guilty pleasure movie or movies that you like? Um, hmm, I'm not, I, I don't really think that any of the stuff that I enjoy could be considered a guilty pleasure. Um, I think the term guilty pleasure may get a lot of, um, you know, negativity uh, around it because you, you, when you hear guilty pleasure, you think it's something that you enjoy that you may not necessarily should enjoy. Uh, whereas everything that I watch and that I think we watch, you should enjoy it. You know, there should be no um, looking down upon because of something that you like. Going off that, he also asks if there are any guilty pleasure games that I like. Um, I can see where you would think that certain games would be guilty pleasures. For example, if I was a really big fan of Barbie games, which I'm not. Um, <laughs> uh, but I really don't think that there are any uh, Guilty Pleasure games that uh, I like either. I think maybe the only thing that you could closely consider would be old school Disney games, you know, like Toy Story. I think Toy Story is a great game, but I think that all the Disney games for the old 16-bit uh, consoles were great games. He also asks, is there any anime that you love but everyone else hates? And also, is there an anime that you hate but everyone else loves? Um, I'm sure that there are. Uh, I know that specifically. I know that there are shows that I enjoyed that people hate. 
I don't think it's that they hate it for what the show is. I think that they hate it because of the dub. And I think dub gets a lot of hate. Um, you know, there are a lot of shows, you know, it, there's so many shows that I would need to uh, seriously sit down and take a look at each one um, to give you um, straight examples. Um, but there's not really too many shows that I hate that people love. Um, other than One Daba Style. He also asks, have you checked out the Magi series yet? And what's my favorite drink? Unfortunately, I have not checked it out yet. And my favorite drink is probably birch beer. I like root beer a lot, but I think birch beer just has that extra little kick to it that makes it a, a, a little bit better. Mikael HR asks, do you have any other hobbies besides anime and gaming? Um, probably not. You know, I enjoy a lot of things. I enjoy watching, you know, sports. I enjoy hanging out with friends. I enjoy, you know, going out and doing things. Uh, but I think anime and gaming probably would be considered the only hobbies that I have. Um, you know, when you work 40 hour a week, uh, it's, it's kind of hard to, to make time for all the things you want to do. And especially um, filming videos, it, it becomes a little bit of, of a hassle to try and get everything together, especially when it's something that you want to do. Um, so I don't think I'd have much time for any other hobbies. So, AK Sunglasses 24 asks, is there a series you want on DVD, Blu-ray, but for whatever reason, don't have it yet? Uh, the answer is yes. Uh, I really want Card Captors Sakura on the Blu-ray collection. Uh, the reason I don't have it is because it is extremely expensive. Uh, and it's a lot of money for me to blow on a series that I probably would not be watching immediately. Uh, then you could be asking yourself, well then why do you want to watch it? Like, why do you want to own it? And that's because I, I watched it when I was younger. And it was probably one of the first three or four anime that I had ever seen. You know, when it was uh, back on WB Kids at like four o'clock, I remember coming home and wanting to watch it. And at the time, it could probably, even still, it could probably be considered more of a feminine anime for, you know, for, for girls to watch, but that doesn't really matter to me. I mean, if it's enjoyable, it's enjoyable. You want to watch it? Go right ahead. James Dean asks, do you read manga? And if so, which is your favorite series? Um, that's sort of, that's sort of like a guess and a no. Uh, the only manga that really that I have ever picked up, uh, I also have down here, uh, were continuations from shows that did not end. So, for example, I picked up uh, The School Rumble, obviously. I picked up Suzuka. I picked up Spice and Wolf, uh, Ghost Hunt, um, Kirkano, which is the continuation of, I think it was His and Her Circumstances. I, I picked that up. Uh, a Genshin book. And then the only manga that I ever bought that was not a continuation is a manga called Sundome. And it's a a mature manga as, a, as opposed to some of the other ones you know a lot of um i don't want to say perverted themes to it but it, it has that kind of vibe to it and i read the first four and i never bought the fifth one so it, it kind of goes to show you how um uh, up to date i stay with my manga reading awesome anime fan back again for his next question of what's the worst anime ever made uh it's very subjective in my opinion it's wandaba style that anime guy comes in for five questions of his own, and he says, "Congrats on 500 subs! Now I can now now on to a thousand. That would be great, right? It's the dream. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, what big anime channels do I look up to? Um, you might find it very surprising, but I really don't watch too many anime YouTubers. Um, my favorite is uh, obviously uh, Arcada. I think he does a really great job with all his his uh, reviews. Very thoughtful. Very." Um, descriptive and, and lets you get a good vibe of what shows are about at the same time not spoiling them so i really enjoy his reviews and then the only other anime videos that i watch tend to be you guys who subscribe to my channel who do their own videos i'll check out some of your videos every now and then the anime guy you're a good example i watch some of your videos uh every now and then and, and a lot of the other um people who comment on these videos who post stuff i'll watch your stuff too but other than that there are really no big anime channels that i watch what anime company do I like and dislike the most? That's a good question. Uh, I think I would have to say the one that I dislike the most is probably Sentai, just because they don't dub enough of their shows, and they pick up a lot of licenses to good shows that I'd want to watch that they don't dub. And, you know, you can say, you can make the argument that if I really wanted to watch it, I would watch it subbed, you know, if I really wanted to. I just don't have the patience for it. I really don't. I mean, if I wanted to read while I watched, then I'd be fine with it, but I don't. Um, which anime company do I like? Uh, that's also very subjective, you know, I think that they all do a really good job, Sentai included, they do a good job. Uh, I think Funimation may 
I, I don't want to say I like them the most because they do a lot of screw ups, especially considering this whole Evangelion debacle. Um, I think probably one of my favorites um, was Bandai uh, before they, you know, poop the bed. Uh, I really like Bandai products. What anime series that is hard but you would love to have it in your collection? Uh, I think that goes back to uh, Cardcaptor Sakura. I think it's really the only one that I really, really, really want that's too expensive for me to get. Everything else, you know, I have a lot of different shows. Uh, almost all the shows that I want to, I have. Um, there are a few, like I said, on the list, but usually if I see something I want, I just go out and buy it. What do I do for fun beside watching anime? Uh, I play a lot of games, I uh, play a lot of Destiny. Um, and I, you know, I'm a big Met fan I'm growing up in, in, in the New York, New Jersey area, so I, I like baseball a lot. Uh, same thing with football. Um, other than that, really not too much. Like I mentioned, you know, when you have a 40 hour work week, uh, it's kind of hard to, to balance, you know, things that you want to do versus things that you can't do. And his final question is visiting Japan on your bucket list? And yes, it is. Uh, it's been one of the top, if not, you know, top two. Uh, things on my bucket list uh, since I made the bucket list and I do plan on going eventually and I do have a, a large coalition of friends who want to go uh, So that, that should be a fun time when I finally get around to it. The light changed. I had a little trouble reading so I turned the light a little bit brighter uh, Next question from Stardust Master 8 and he says I pointed out your ADDR poster in a past video and see your different band shirts So my question is what are your some of your favorite bands? Uh, in case you were wondering, that's the poster he's referencing. And I actually am wearing a band shirt today for uh, We Came As Romans. Uh, and to answer your question, I like a lot of different bands. Um, my favorite genre of music is definitely, you know, the post-hardcore uh, bands like A Day To Remember. So bands like Bless The Fall, uh, Memphis Mayfire, you know, We Came As Romans, uh, Secrets, Crown The Empire. Uh, you know, the list gets really long um, for bands that I like. Um, there's also a lot of different genres of music I like. I like um, some electronic music, and I don't mean like techno dubstep. I mean like actual electronic music. Um, you know, some bands come. Gary Newman comes to mind. Uh, probably just naming bands that nobody's ever heard of. Uh, but then I, I like a lot of um, rock too, like you know Disturbed, Corn, um, Metallica, um, Five Finger Death Punch. And my favorite band probably would have to be System of a Down, just because they were the band that really got me into music and really made me enjoy music. So uh, for me personally, they'll always be at the top of the list. Slayer9568 asks, do you own Sword Art Online on either Blu-ray or DVD? Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I don't. Uh, I haven't seen any of it yet. Uh, what I would like to see uh, is maybe, you know, a complete box set of it uh, at that point, then I'll, I'll go ahead and pick it up. Let me know if that's already out there. Uh, but if I remember correctly, what I saw were like, um, you know, parts of it. Brandon Johnson asks, I know you said Tokyo Ghoul was a blind buy for you. Did you enjoy it? And will you be continuing to watch it? Uh, I haven't checked it out yet. Uh, I do have it, but I haven't watched it. Uh, I've been watching Ronma Hat One Half, which is, you know, I think 130 around there episode show. Uh, and I'm not the kind of person that likes to start one show, watch a few episodes, you know, start another show, watch a few episodes and mix them. I like to watch from beginning to end, uh, and I can only watch about two or three episodes a day. Uh, so it's going to take me a little bit longer to finish Rama, but probably after that I will watch uh, Tokyo Ghoul. And he also asks, do you play handhelds like 3DS or Game Boy, PSP? If so, what's your favorite game on those systems? Uh, I do have a 3DS. I don't really play as much as I should considering the games that I buy. You know, I have all of the Zelda games, I have the Pokemon games, I have the Mario games. Um, the games that I played that I finished, uh, I beat Luigi's Mansion, I beat Pokemon X, uh, I think I beat Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, I, I might have not finished the end story, um, and I beat uh, A Link Between Worlds, um, but I do have a few other games that I should play. It's just really hard to try and find the time to play all the different games that I have, since I'm probably closing in on, on 600 games at this point. And his final question is, what's your favorite non-anime show and movie? Um, that's a good question. I don't really watch too much, too many movies. Um, you know, a good uh, uh, way to portray that is the last few movies that I saw in theaters were The Avengers, The Hobbit, The Hobbit, and then The Hobbit. So in like four years, I've seen three movies in theaters, which is kind of bad if you really think about it. But the way I look at it is if you're gonna spend $15 on a movie ticket and then you could spend $5 more and have it on Blu-ray forever. So that's why I don't really go to the movies too often. Um, what my favorite movie is, eh, it's a toss-up. I really like The Godfather. I really like uh, Aliens. 
Uh, I really like Smoke and Aces. That was a really good movie. Um, yeah, I really don't think I have too much of a favorite movie. I like all the James Bond movies. Those are really good movies. That, that I'll go see in theaters. Um, as for a favorite TV show, if you mean a show that's airing now, uh, I really like The Big Bang Theory. I find The Big Bang Theory hilarious. Um, I also like Anthony Bourdain. Uh, he travels a lot of different places and his shows are really enjoyable. Um, if you want to talk about favorite TV show overall, I like sci-fi shows. Um, so I really enjoy Babylon 5, which is probably uh, you know up there on my favorite TV show list. Cooley Bear asks, have you been to any anime manga conventions? Not yet, but I plan on going at some point. And if I can ask multiple questions, here are some that you can answer. Let's do it. Is there a series that you have watched after reading the manga counterpart? No. Um, what three genre of anime interest you the most? Um, Sci-fi, uh, romantic comedies, definitely romantic comedies are funny, um, and adventure type, type anime like uh, Attack on Titan and like Slayers, you know, big uh, um, sprawling sort of adventure type shows. I, I really enjoy those. Uh, is there any series that you like to be retold from another character's point of view? That's really a good question. Um, I'm sure that there are. Um, you know, I think a show like like Dragon Ball Z or, or you know, a, a shonen action, like a fighter, would be really interesting told from someone's point, different point of view. Could you imagine Dragon Ball Z told from the point of view of Frieza? Like, that would be pretty cool, right? Or, or Death Note told from the point of view of L. Interesting, interesting question. Uh, is there any anime or manga that you would love to come out sometime next year? And if so, what would you like Special or Limited Edition of it to come with? Uh, thanks, for, thanks for looking forward to the video, regardless of what questions are asked. Uh, I tried to answer all these questions. Um, what would I look forward to seeing come out next year? Um, like I said, I, I own a lot of the shows that I'd want to see, and I just like to keep an eye on and see, uh, you know, what comes out, um, you know, new, and then that makes me uh, decide whether I want to, uh, whether or not I want to buy it. What I would like to see is, <laughs> you know, them continue some shows like School Rumble. I'd love to see School Rumble get uh, completed. Um, I would love a limited edition of View Hawk Show to come with some cool stuff. That's, you know, what I want are re-releases of some of the older shows that I already have. I would love to see a re-release of Big O uh, on Blu-ray, you know, remastered. And what it comes with is like a little statue of Big O. That'd be so cool. Uh, I think the stuff I like the most are the shows that I already have seen and some of the older stuff. So what I would like to see out of limited editions are some of the older shows redone. So moving right along. Awesome anime fan, back again. Ass, can you do a room tour one day? Uh, I'm not really in the, I don't think that's enjoyable to watch personally. I don't really have much to show aside from, you know, the anime and Blu-ray that I've already showed in my collection video. Uh, I think most of the room that you see behind me is pretty much everything that there is to see. Uh, I don't really have anything else. So unfortunately the answer to that question is probably not. Devin Caps asks, congratulations on 500 subscribers. Thank you very much, sir. What kind of music do you like? Favorite artists? Uh, if you go back maybe like two, three minutes, I think I answered that question uh, already, but um, the, the genres and the music that I, I mentioned a few minutes ago is, is pretty much encompasses uh, you know all of my favorite artists. And finally, the last question is asked by Cody Wall, and I think it's a great question to end on. What was the first anime that I've watched? And I think that what I consider to be the first anime that I've watched is Pokemon. And I think that that's probably going to be the answer if you really think about it for a lot of people. Uh, Pokemon is an anime. Uh, it was a show that came out, you know, what was it, late 90s? And it was probably, you know, the first exposure to a lot of us uh, to um, anime and, and Japanese stylings in, in um, cartoonisms. And I think that that should be the answer for a lot of you. If you don't consider Pokemon as an anime and you wanted a little something more meaty from me, uh, I would have to say it was, it'd was either be Card Captors or Digimon uh, right alongside with Pokemon. But that's what I think <laughs> would probably be my first anime. So I'd like to thank you all so very, very much for watching this video. I'm sure it got a lot longer uh, than I anticipated. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm sure it did get pretty long. Uh, I'd like to thank you also very much for sticking with me up until 500 subscribers now at this point. 
and uh, I hope you look forward to seeing all the things that I put out in the future. I know I look forward to putting them out for you. Uh, but as always, my name is Finizzi Breezy, and I will see you all next time.